Hey farm hands, farm boy reef here. I have a really nice specimen for you guys for Coral Friday. Um, this one here is a zoantha. I picked up from my local fish store at Reefscape in Ottawa. It's a very beautiful specimen. This one is uh, it's a nice coral frag. Um, the, the species name on this one is called Ice. So the description of this one, it has a beautiful uh, orange polyp on it around the tips and then there's like a, that real ice blue color in the middle of uh, the zoantha polyp. So I can't wait to show you guys. So it's been here been in my tank, it's been acclimating for an hour now. Make sure when you're always acclimating your corals, you want to add a little bit of uh, your tank water to keep the salinity the same and start raising that temperature gradually so we don't shock that coral. So a few spots that this coral likes to be, this coral it likes a, a mid-level in your tank, so somewhere in the middle, uh, near the bottom, it's a nice spot you can attach to the side of a rock and it can really start to grow and take off on there. One thing with these, they are a pretty fast growing coral, so you want to make sure when you're placing it in your tank, you don't put it beside a coral that grows slow because it'll end up uh, taking over that coral and kill it out. So you want to make sure and put it in its own area. What a lot of places people do is um, they'll end up placing it in an area and start like a zoa garden. Have all different colors that they can all grow together. Like here on this cliff would be a real nice spot. I could start a nice zoa garden right there. It'd be great and there's actually not many corals around there that it would affect you the, the lighting requirements uh, for this coral when it's mid-level it's got moderate light so that's perfect for that they don't like too much uh, light sometimes when there's a lot of light you'll actually see the polyp really uh, stretching up but that would make sure it helps it grow a little faster um so mid-level moderate light and same with the flow if you have too much flow on your zoa it'll end up closing up because it's being irritated and you won't be able to see all those beautiful colors and they'll start to really irritate the coral and uh, you might kill it out. So another couple things that I like to do as well, I like to feed uh, my zoas uh, regularly with, uh, with uh, reefroids. I find this stuff here really makes them uh, split and grow a lot faster. And what I do is um, I just get out my great big looks like turkey baster. I mix a little bit of this in my tank water in a cup. I take some and I just spot, I just spot feed right on there and you can just watch the meat and I find it takes off a lot better. So make sure a coral is really healthy and grow. So that's a few requirements uh, for this. And one other thing, it's always good to do is always uh, coral dip your corals because you never know uh, what kind of pests are going to get on there. But I ended up doing this at my uh, local fish store and uh, we were uh, pest free so thanks guys. So what we have to do now is how we're going to mount it and where we're going to mount it. So uh, today I'm going to use application of just uh, using some uh, reef safe uh, coral glue and just glue, glue it. Uh, I think right here there's a certain area. I've got a nice little spot that I like to start a little zoo garden with these uh, ice zoas. So I'm going to get it mounted up and then I'll bring you guys in close and personal. We'll start turning the radions down and see if we can get this coral to pop. And I'll take up some uh, really close um, uh, macro shots with my camera so you guys can really uh, benefit from the, see the colors on it. Sometimes it's really hard to tell uh, with, through the camera. So let's go ahead and check it out, guys. All right. So I got a reef link open. So this is uh, the ice zoantha. As you guys can see, it's got a nice, beautiful uh, blue in the middle. So let's start turning the radions down. So we just took the reds down. We just took the greens down. Cool whites are down. So you guys can see how uh, it's got the nice orange around the polyp and it's got the blue, it looks like ice. So it looks like ice in the middle. Let's take our blues down a little bit more. Got some really nice color. So let's turn these all back up. So let's go to some presets. See what we got polyfluorescent, coral radiance, reef creation, so there you go guys, so I end up using just uh, coral glue and just uh, glued it to the base of my rock, so I'm going to start a nice zoa garden here. Alright gang, so that's Coral Friday this week. I hope you guys really enjoyed that specimen, that ice uh, zoantha. I can't wait for it to take off so I can frag it up and frag it for some of my friends. So thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, same time, same place. You never know what's coming up next. So please subscribe and hit the like button.